Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Moconoman at YouTube with a, another 3D printing model review. January 2020, Disney dropped the Book of Boba Fett and by episode 5 late January, we got to see the Mandalorian's new Naboo Starfighter. A modified prequel spaceship is big news and went wild in the fandom and modeling circles. Existing model kits from the 90s 2000s skyrocketed on eBay and I'm always fascinated by fan art and high quality art being released as soon as a property is aired. Within two days of streaming episode 5 on Thingiverse, a 3D printed file of the upgraded N1 Naboo fighter was ready for downloading and printing. With a bit of free time, I made short work in scaling it to fit the Bandai Small Vehicle series, making it vertical with minimal supports, and printed it out in resin for me and my friends. The Unicubic platform is pretty powerful and it's styled for the Mono X as it's the only resin printer I have. I found supporting is fairly easy by showing the red where it will print mid-air and you add the supports on the support tab. There's a lot of views of finding out that if it's going to successfully print or not in a showcase, plus making hollow and calculating how much resin is produced. Following all of this, it's fairly easy to do on your first go. Once you have mastered through setup, ideal retraction speed, UV strength, orientation, slicing your model and supporting it, standard any cubic resin applied well stored as it's been sitting in storage for quite a while. With a short spout of inspiration, the idea was to nut this out as quickly as possible as a bit of a mental and fun build. This was treated as a 24 hour challenge where the settings were dialed in on the Friday night and started printing and throughout Saturday I've removed the support, cleaned her up put it in the sun to cure and painted. I found this quick turnaround to be an immense amount of fun though far from my best work i would love to take this opportunity to use a lot of video footage in showing the step-by-step -step process of producing a 3d print via a domestic large resin printer and some of the tools and bits and pieces i like print time of six hours and 10 grams per starfighter after the big expense of a printer the prints are inexpensive i didn't opt for a cure tank wash setup and would rather clean my resin in a pot with two doses of alcohol and leave in the sun for slow curing or use a small uv light for tiny models in this case i put it in direct sunlight for approximately four hours i normally do wash my models in resin depending on the level of detail and panels it was very small and lack detail i'd rather it be smooth for a metallic paint job and left excess resin on it to be cured under the sun. This filled all of the z-axis print lines and left it as smooth as a metal polished surface. Sometimes I find that UV light too intensely can make the resin so rigid it becomes brittle and soft on the inside. Leaving it outside makes it far more softer and gentle. On the supports and raft I'm able to cut all of the supports with fine tip nippers with the fine setting and trim them away with a hobby knife and sand down with a range of sandpaper from 120 grit all the way down to a few hundred and a thousand for polishing. This model came out really well and no filling or putting work was required though due to excess force I accidentally snapped off one of the engines which super glued back on very easily. The beautiful part and aspect of this resin is it snaps in a way where it it leaves a memory and a unique crack pattern that snaps straight back together with a bit of super glue. Resin breakage repair is far easier than any other material. There's really very little to be said about painting. I did cut a lot of corners, though with the help of an airbrush 
I probably spent a lot less than two hours in all aspects of the finish. Instead of utilizing primer as it's very slow from excess resin, I went straight to lacquer metallic black mixed from automotive silver and gloss black which always gives a fantastic base for any smooth high gloss or metallic finish moving straight on to guy notes bright silver shaded on the top half for that reflective chrome finish and gunmetal underneath the engines shows quite a bit of browning and soot in the source material and that was shaded gently the rest of the details were hand painted and if you're to make a small model quickly in metallics and lacquers or even enamels it dry brushes incredibly easily even though it dries very quickly by using a wide brush and stretching across the material so this was done in patching up the canopy dome the weapon system and a few other details along the sides of the wing and hull are very thin yellow lines and this was done with metallic yellow rather than gold once all of this dried I thinned some Tamir accent panel line wash and pin washed all the details folds and covering to give it a little definition and classic Star Wars weathered look kudos and mad respects to the original draftsman that's put out this 3d file I honestly wish I had a far more detailed model to print it at a larger size and even though this was blown up from that wargaming roleplay game Legion and the likes there wasn't a lot of substance here for me to dig my teeth in and go ham on shading and weathering and extra hand painting. With the very limited time and finishing this well before episode 6 aired, in the end I had something in hand, much like a toy or merchandise, that majority of people did not have to enjoy and display for sure. Now, funnily enough I was far from the first to turn around and produce a model. Looking at the original listing on Thingiverse, four others had a model produced via a filament machine and hand painted uh, displayed online before this even hit my 3D printer. Sharing this build on social media was greeted with shock and amusement with how quickly models definitely get turned over as I was originally fascinated with fan art at the start of this video. 10 out of 10, very happy, glad I've created this model and the end goal of being amused and having a model in hand was achieved. Thank you very much for watching, always stay tuned for further content, the original download link will be in the description section and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later.